Story of Morgan Baysmore, aged 23, and her beloved mother, Alicia Herford, aged 52, who were both gunned down by Morgan's upset boyfriend, Kenyatta Jones, aged 29. Morgan Baysmore who was in an on and off relationship with Kenyatta got into an altercation one night and she decided to call her mom who was her best friend to come help her. Unfortunately, Alicia who had $250,000 cash in her car drove with the money to meet her child where she was shot dead after Kenyatta fatally shot Morgan. What happened to the money afterwards and the amount of time Kenyatta was sentenced to got Morgan family members upset. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Norfolk, Virginia. The city of Norfolk, Virginia is the home of the world's largest naval base. Norfolk is a coastal city with miles of pristine beaches, lovely seaside communities, and abundant wildlife to explore and enjoy. With a crime rate of 56 per 1,000 residents, Norfolk has one of the highest crime rates in America compared to all communities of all sizes, from the smallest towns to the very largest cities. One's chance of becoming a victim of either violent or property crime here is 1 in 18. Morgan Bonita Baysmore was born in Norfolk, Virginia on February 9, 1998. She attended Matthew Fontaine Mori High School. She was a competitive student. She was into gymnastic and other sports. She was a member of the graduating class of 2016. She successfully held employment at DTLR, Walmart, and in the customer care center at CVS Corporate. Morgan was a unique person who did everything with all her heart. <laughs> What's up, cuzzo? You downstairs, you laughing so loud, I can hear you all the way out here. Her favorite things were her shoes and hair accessories. She loved shopping and had a great sense of style and beauty. Alicia was born on December 25, 1968 in Norfolk. She was retired as at the time of this incident. She spent her entire career as a social worker with the City of Portsmouth Department of Social Services and most recently as a Child Protective Services Hotline Specialist with the Virginia Department of Social Services. She and Morgan shared a love of shopping, being with family and friends, and creating wonderful memories with each other. Morgan ended up dating a young man named Kenyatta Farrell Jones, age 29. Kenyatta and Morgan were known to be a popular couple around town. They also post each other online. Things were smooth for them. They seemed like every other normal couple out there until disaster struck on March 12, 2021. Morgan and Kenyatta got into an argument on the night of March 12, 2021 and it went south really quickly. While they were arguing, for some reasons Morgan decided to call her mother, Alicia Herford. After receiving the call from Morgan, Alicia jumped into her car and headed towards the location where they were. Not long after arriving at the scene, things escalated and got out of hands. They were going back and forth arguing and Kenyatta got really upset by both Morgan and Alicia. He shot Morgan and Alicia and then fled. Police found the women's bodies outside Hunter Square Apartments on Gough Street, where Kenyatta lived with his mother. 
A witness who saw the whole scene called the cops and told them what she saw. She told them she saw both ladies arguing with Kenyatta before he fatally shot them and fled. They were both declared dead right there at the scene. That a mother and a daughter should be in a morgue right now laying on a cold slab. A family devastated after gunshots rang out on Gough Street in Norfolk Friday morning. According to a call between dispatch and Norfolk police. Just heard about six or seven gunshots. Two females not breathing. Male shot the female. Two women identified by police as 52 year old Alicia Herford and 23 year old Morgan Baysmore were pronounced dead on the scene. We spoke briefly off camera with a family member who says they were mother and daughter. Members of Reverend Hugo Morrison's congregation also knew the women. Some of our congregants um, have went to school with this young lady. Um, some of them know them from family and friends. Union United Church of Christ is tucked within Hunter Square, so Morrison says the people here are family. This awful tragedy has happened in our community, and uh, while everybody in the community doesn't belong to the church, the church certainly belongs to everybody in the community. You see me dressed down today, so I'll be knocking on doors and uh, making our making our services available. There'll be a team that will join us later. Also advocating for safety and change is Clay Marquez with the Stop the Violence Guns Down movement. I don't understand why we think that we need a result in pulling out a gun and shooting and killing somebody. Morgan had been shot in her right temple and finger while Alicia had been struck twice in the back and once in the chest. Witnesses said they heard over 15 shots at the time. During a preliminary investigation, they discovered a gun in Alicia's bag but she was never able to take it out of her bag. As Norfolk police worked the scene in the hours after the slayings, Detective J.C. Noel searched Alicia's car for evidence. He found roughly $250,000 in cash in the trunk, and around $2,100 in counterfeit money in the back seat. Kenyatta was declared wanted in the killing of Morgan and Alicia. U.S. Marshals offered a $5,000 reward for information that would lead to Kenyatta's arrest. U.S. Marshals and the Norfolk Police Department did not stop looking for him until they got hold of him. After his arrest, 27-year-old Kenyatta Farrell Jones was charged with two counts of second-degree murder and two counts of use of a firearm in the commission of a felony. New information tonight about the man accused of killing a Norfolk mother and daughter. Kenyatta Jones faced a judge today, and he's staying in jail without bond. Police say Jones brutally murdered Alicia Hereford and Morgan Baysmore last week. Ellie Weatherton brings us up to date from court. Prosecutors charged 27-year-old Kenyatta Jones with two counts of second-degree murder and gun charges. Norfolk police say Jones shot and killed his girlfriend, 23-year-old Morgan Baysmore, and her mother, 52-year-old Alicia Hereford. A family friend, Gianna Smith, is still in shock. It's so many of us in the community that have so much love for Morgan and her mom, and, and it's, it's unbelievable of how it happened and when it took place. Norfolk police said on Friday they responded to a report of a shooting at the Hunter Square Apartments. When they got there, they found Hereford and Baysmore shot and killed. And we'll forever remember everything that we've had individually with them and that um, we'll do everything in our power to just, you know, keep living through them as time goes on. Norfolk police searched for Jones for several days. The U.S. Marshals even offered a $5,000 reward for help finding him. Police say Jones turned himself in Tuesday at his attorney, James Broccoletti's office. And Jones's next court date is scheduled for June 15th. In Norfolk, Ellie Weatherton, 13 News Now. Hereford spent her entire career as a social worker with the Portsmouth Department of Social Services. Her daughter, Baysmore, held several jobs, including the customer care center at CVS Corporate. Things would turn bad for the family of Morgan and Alicia when the witness decided not to help the prosecutors by testifying in court. Due to this, Kenyatta was offered a lesser charge of manslaughter that carries just eight years in prison. Morgan and Alicia's family were really furious with this. Family is demanding answers after the man accused of killing their loved one takes a plea deal. Police say Kenyatta Jones killed Morgan Baysmore and Alicia Herford in 2021. The victims were mother and daughter. The original charge was murder, but Jones has pleaded down to manslaughter. Allison Basil has details on the change. Thick as thieves. Mother and daughter, but very good friends, best friends. Family members only have pictures to hold on to almost two years after their loved one's murders. 
Norfolk police say they responded to a shooting at Hunter Square Apartments on March 12, 2021 and found 23-year-old Morgan Baysmore and her mother, 52-year-old Alicia Herford, shot to death in the parking lot. Forever in our hearts. Investigators later arrested Kenyatta Jones. Prosecutors charged him with two counts of second-degree murder and gun charges. They say Baysmore and Jones had an on-off relationship. We have all been waiting and anticipating, trying to leave it, you know, in the hands of, of justice. But last week, Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney Ramin Fadahi says Jones agreed to a plea deal and pleaded guilty to two counts of voluntary manslaughter. Baysmore's aunt didn't want to go in front of the camera. She says prosecutors initially told her Jones could get 30 years in prison, but now after the deal, he may only get eight. Our family is completely hurt and disappointed. Fada, he couldn't say much about the case, but says, quote, we made the offer as the best of a series of options based on the limited evidence we had. Baysmore's aunt says her family wants more answers about why this case didn't go to trial. Something else needs to be done about this whole system, this whole corruption. You know, how do you shoot two people and you walk away for four years? You can hit a, a, a geese or a dog and get more time. So how do you get just eight years total for two beautiful souls. Norfolk Commonwealth's attorney Ramin Fatehi said the shooting was caught on one witness dash camera, while another witness saw Jones arguing with the victims before the shooting and then fleeing in his vehicle afterward. Kenyatta was initially charged with murder but prosecutors agreed to a plea deal on lesser charges after these key witnesses refused to testify, making the dash camera video inadmissible as evidence. Jones will serve eight years in prison, with another 12 years suspended pending good behavior. During all this time, Alicia's son and her husband were trying to get the $250,000 back from the police, but they could not. Her husband, Harvey Herford filed against the city and police in July 2021 in an effort to get the money turned over to them. Her son who was the only surviving child also filed a different lawsuit making it two different people trying to get the money. That made it hard for the city to decide who to hand it over to. A spokesman for the city of Norfolk, said the money was taken by police as evidence in the murder investigation. It's been held in the department's property and evidence unit since then and will remain there until its proper owner is determined. He further stated that the money will be returned to whomever proves to be its rightful owner, but none of the two parties trying to get the money have shown proof that they are the rightful owners of the money. Not too long afterwards, Marvin Baysmore, 25, was arrested and is being held without bond in Western Tidewater Regional Jail on multiple charges, including possessing drugs with the intent to sell, carrying a concealed weapon, obstructing justice, and driving recklessly in an attempt to avoid arrest. As for the $250,000, until the matter of rightful ownership is resolved by the Norfolk City attorneys, no one will be given the money according to the spokesman for the City of Norfolk. This is a very sad case on every level. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Morgan and Alicia. May their memories be a blessing for their families and for all who knew them, and may their lives and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.